We are live from Israel, Passover 2020. It has been 3,000 years that this has not happened. The Jewish people is locked in house, locked at home. Nobody is allowed to go out. And this reminds us the story of Exodus 12, where Israel is trapped in Egypt and they cannot go out because God is about to send the angel of death that is going to kill the firstborn. And God tells to all the Jewish people to stay in their house. And my friends, this is what is happening in this year, 2020. It's been 3000 years that this has not happened. A Passover where the Jewish people is not allowed to go out. Nobody is outside in the streets. So in Exodus 12, God asked the Jewish people to kill a lamb and to put the blood on, on the doorpost. But today, my friends, we don't have to do that. Today, to ex escape the coming judgment, there is another sacrifice that has been made, which is the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, who died for our sins. And Jesus said, you see the moon, here is a super moon. And Jesus said the signs that when he will come back will be in heaven. Three times in the gospel, the disciples ask, when will this time be? And Jesus tells his disciples, he tells them, after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will be turned into blood. And then the Son of Man will appear. My friends, the Son of Man is not going to come as a lamb this time. He's going to come as a roaring lion. He's, going, he's coming back to judge like it was in the days of Noah, like it was in the days of Lot. God is coming back to judge the unrighteous, judge the ungodly, judge the sinner. My friends, you see the Jewish people here. They are all, millions of Jewish people right now are remembering Pesach, where the, the lamb had to be killed so they, they wouldn't lose their firstborn. But my friend, Jesus is our lamb that was slain for our sins. If you don't have Jesus Christ, if you haven't repented of your sins, if you haven't accepted his sacrifice, you are under the wrath of God. And these are not my words, these are the Bible words. You must be born again, Jesus said. You must be baptized in water. You must receive the Holy Spirit for a new life, to be a new creation and to escape the wrath, the coming wrath of God that is going to come on all men. All these people, all these Jewish people are waiting for Messiah to come, but they don't know that he, or, he already came. He came and, and he didn't, he didn't, he was not a man of war at that time. He came as a humble man, a servant to die for the sins of the world. But they denied him like they denied Moses when he came with the Ten Commandments. They, they, they strayed away and they did a, 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 an idol. People need to understand that Jesus came in the flesh, God came in the flesh to forgive men's sins, for them to be a new creation, to be born again. So these are exciting times, 3000 years, this has, hasn't happened that all the Jewish people of Israel are right now in their house in this moment and they can't go out because there's a pestilence. And Jesus told us in the end times before the coming, the second coming, there will be famines, pestilences, earthquakes upon all the earth. We are assisting to these times, my friend. We are assisting to the times where we are seeing the pestilence hitting all the earth, not just Egypt, but the whole earth is being attacked by this pestilence. So why is God doing this to us right now? This is a question we, we should ask. Why is God doing this to his people? 
because my friend God is a loving God, but God is holy, holy, holy. And right now, this was our heart. God is saying to us, you wanted to worship the athletes? I'm going to close down the stadiums. You wanted to worship the actors in the cinema? I'm going to close down the cinemas. You wanted to, to worship mammon? I'm going to stop the business it close down the shops. Because God right now is crying out. He's reaching out to the world, asking them, what is important in life? Is, is it the, the numbers of zero you have on your paycheck? The Bible says, what is it to gain the world but to lose your soul? And right now, millions are losing their souls because they are not being faithful to Christ and to His teachings and they are losing their soul to the world and to its idols and the temptation and the lust of the flesh. And my friends, God is reaching out to us right now. He's crying out for us to repent of our sins. He said in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, I send the pestilence, I send the locusts, I keep the rain. But if my people turn to me and repent of their ways, turn away from their ways, I will heal their land. That's what God is wanting to do to his people. He wants to heal Israel. But Israel is being adulterous, is turning away from the one true God. So please share this message, like this message, send this message to the world. People need to know we need to accept the sacrifice of Jesus Christ so that we will not be touched. We will not, be, we will not have to suffer the second death, which is, to, which is hell forever. Jesus said, where the worm doesn't die. He said, where the fire doesn't quench. This is a place where we were never made to be but people with their free will are deciding to rebel against a holy creator. So God must judge with righteousness. And Satan is accusing us day and night, day and night, accusing, accusing us. And we must stand and ask God forgiveness. Go in this heavenly court case and say, I accept the sacrifice. I accept Jesus Christ as my advocate for all my sins. So this is the message we need to hear today. And one day, this moon right here, this super moon, we're going to turn into blood. And the time is over, no more time. Time is over. And we will have to suffer the consequence of our sin. So I want to encourage you, be blessed in this day. God is moving upon the earth. We are in special times. We see the famines, we see the pestilences, we see all these signs, earthquakes, all these signs before our eyes right now. And this is a time for us to be encouraged and to see our redemption is near. Our redemption is coming near and we need to stay ready like these wise virgins. We need to be waiting for the bridegroom. Keep your garment white. If you're not born again, be born again. And this is a life we need to live for people to see, wow, I want this, I want what he has. We are the hope, we are the salt, we are the light in the darkness. So just go, go into all the world, preach the good news and do not be afraid because Jesus said he will be with us until the end of ages. So stay posted to this YouTube channel. We're gonna come with more videos to encourage you. Please share this video and stay faithful to Jesus.